Hey everybody, welcome to Trello Fire. So, anyways, uh, I'm doing a, a little bit of a different review tonight. I wasn't really up to do a video tonight. i uh, just been a little tired. been having a little bit of health issues going on, guys. Uh, nothing to be too alarmed about. But anyways, yeah, I uh, had to go to the hospital the other day. But, feeling better, and... Uh, I got enough strength to do a review. That's the least I could do for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And if you're new to the channel, hey, welcome. Good to see you guys. Anyways, so not sure if I have reviewed a whole lot of Amish products on my channel, but I love Amish products. They're uh, very well put together and uh, really personal. So there is a uh, there's a country store that I go to that's a little little ways up down the road from here. Uh, it's called Our Orchard, and so anybody that is in the, the 417 area of Missouri, it's you know, probably about an hour drive away. But so, anyways, uh, these are two new ones that I don't think I've reviewed. This one is uh, Walnut Creek Hot Pepper Hot Pickled Garlic. Sorry, that's what I meant to say. And then this one is. Uh, Old fashioned hot pepper butter. And uh, this one is by uh, Amish Wedding. So let me, uh, let me get my glasses on so I can actually see better here. I got two spoons here because I'm going to try both of these. Walnut Creek here. Okay, garlic, pickling, liquid, vinegar, sugar, water, natural flavor, and red bell peppers. So the natural flavoring, I'm not sure if that's some kind of like a, maybe pepper extract or something. Right on. Walnut Creek, guys. And this is Walnut Creek Foods, Walnut Creek, Ohio. Right out of Ohio. And I lived, true story, guys, uh, actually was born and uh, grew up in Ohio. Well, until my teen years. And uh, so we didn't live too far away from the Amish people. A lot of Amish up there in Ohio. And uh, so this one here, the hot, the hot pepper butter really caught my attention here by Amish Wedding. This is naturally good. The ingredients on this are hot peppers, sugar, mustard, vinegar, salt. Wait, hot pepper, yeah, hot pepper, sugar, mustard, vinegar, water, xanthan gum, garlic cloves, horseradish, uh, salt, and uh, yellow number five. Alrighty. It says here, manufactured by Troyer Manufacturing, LLC, Millersburg, Ohio. There's a website there, too. So I'm going to try to drop whatever links are on here. And, uh, yeah, Troyer Foods, man. You guys ever had Troyer cheese? I'm not sure which one of these to try first. I think I'm going to try the garlic. All right. Not sure if you heard that. I heard that vacuum seal crack on that. Smells good. Smells pickly. Definitely, definitely very strong garlic, of course. It's got a kind of a sweet smell to it, too. Not sure if that's from the bell peppers. I'm not expecting this to be really hot. Let's get a nice, nice fat, chunky one on there. The color is really great on that. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. Really, really good job they did on, on this. Whoa. Wow. That is a little sweet. Whoa, that is really good. Not really picking up on, on a lot of heat on this, if any. But wow. The flavor on that is intense. This would go great on like salads or a wrap. Um, I, I might even have some of it with my dinner tonight. So no heat on this. It's sweet. You're getting the, the, the flavor from the bell peppers. It's just a very delicious, very well packaged product. So there you guys have it. That's from Walnut Creek Foods. This one here. This one, because the first ingredient is hot peppers, sugar, mustard, vinegar. Yeah, this one has garlic cloves and horseradish. So I'm just expecting to get a little bit of heat off of this. I don't think it'll be crazy hot. 
Let me grab a, uh, let me grab a, we got a new spoon here. There it goes. That's what I wanted here. I love that sound. Don't you just love it when you open up a fresh jar or something? Ooh. Oh my gosh. Hey, I wish you guys had smell of vision This is... You know, I gotta say, guys. My first take on this when I smell it. And the looks of it, it looks like a really good... It looks like a, a spiced honey mustard. The first thing I thought was, is like a stadium hot dog. Or maybe even like a soft baked pretzel. Man, my mouth is starting to water. Do pick up on the clothes and the mustard. It does have a almost like a cayenne pepper smell. Wow. Wow. Burger hot dogs all the way. Oh my gosh. Flavor explosion. I really wish I would have grabbed more than one spin because I wanna I wanna go in for seconds. This stuff is incredible. I can't even remember what I paid for this. I, I wanna say like maybe I don't know. Maybe around six bucks or something. I'm not even kidding guys. I would pay more than that for this. Um just because this is not something I find in every grocery store or whatever. But if you guys ever see hot pepper butter, please pick this up. I'd be very disappointed if you didn't. The only way that you probably would not like this is if, like, you are, like, definitely, like, zero mustard for you. If you're, like, a no mustard fan, don't get it. Because it does have some cues of mustard. But, wow. It is, like, tangy. It's sweet. You're getting just a teeny bit of the horseradish. It says hot peppers are the first ingredient. I'm not sure what hot peppers they put in this. I would not say that this is like a very spicy product, but I am picking up on a little little twinge of something on this. But this is just an all-around good condiment sauce. And you could always spice it up. You slather it on a burger or a dog, you could totally throw on some hot peppers or some pepper powders or... Uh, your favorite, you could complement it with some hot sauce, but this is just good just on its own. This is amazing, guys. So, yeah, there you guys go, man. I have the Walnut Creek Hot Pickled Garlic and the Amish Wedding Hot Pepper Butter. I love them both. I love them both. This one's really calling me even more than this tonight because this, I've just been really in the, I've been eating a lot of mustard lately. I don't know why. I love mustard. Anyways, guys. That's what I got, and uh, I'll see you guys soon here with some more videos. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I'll see you on the trail of fire.